Let's go over the Star Wars franchise when it comes to Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy by J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one big thing that a lot of you guys have been bringing up to me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, etc. has all to do with how Star Wars Episode 9 is responding to the backlash in a sense by providing a lot of fan service in this movie. Now, we heard of this not too long ago that this movie will be full of fan service. Now, this could range anywhere from a lot of major cameos from previous films such as Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Nobi, or even returning planets such as Naboo, Kamino, you name it. There's a lot of possibilities of what's to come in Episode 9. Now, like I have said before, fan service is good as long as it serves a purpose in a sense where whatever that they do with the movie, whatever they insert, makes a whole lot of sense and connects to the plot and makes it move forward. So the thing here is this, is that they know, Disney and Lucasfilm know, they recognize the backlash after The Last Jedi released and the solo a Star Wars story box office results being a direct link to The Last Jedi backlash. They recognized this, and shortly after we heard a lot of things on and off, that they would be changing things in Episode 9 and doing little tweaks here and there in order to satisfy a majority of the Star Wars fans around the world. And one of the big things is that Episode 9 is going to be very fan y In addition, we also heard this from the Weekly Planet a couple of weeks ago that Episode 9 would indeed be a very fan y movie. And my biggest question to all of you guys is, of course, whether or not this is a good or bad thing in your eyes. Now, to me, I think it's a great thing as long as it all makes sense. Like the examples that I provided before, if Anakin Skywalker or Obi-Wan Kenobi appears in the form of a Force ghost, put some meaning into it. Make it meaningful. Make it emotional. Give it a point that actually moves the plot forward and makes it, you know, a sense, like, makes a whole lot of sense, I would say, in Episode 9. So, the whole thing with fan service, I don't think fan service is bad as long as it's not overdone and doesn't make any sense at all. So, looking at Episode 9, you know, the thing here is that we are all expecting to see a major cameo in this movie, as every single Star Wars movie does this uh, that falls under the Disney Era, of course. You know, in The Force Awakens, we got Luke. In The Last Jedi, we got Yoda. In Rogue One, we got Darth Vader. In Solo, we got Darth Maul. And, you know, so on and so forth. We're getting all these cameos in each and every Star Wars film. So, with that being said, in Episode 9, we can expect yet another major cameo. And we have heard this before in the past that they are indeed going to introduce a huge cameo in Episode 9 that's not Lando Calrissian. So Lando Calrissian, by the way, he is actually going to be one of the more major roles in Episode 9. My guess is that he would be somewhat similar to that, quite possibly, of maybe even Luke Skywalker in the movie. I would love that. Now, Luke Skywalker is going to be in Episode 9. Mark Hamill is back. We're not quite sure how significant of a role he will be in this film, or whether it's going to be in the form of flashbacks, or a Force ghost, or heck, even both. I would love that. But I think that everybody wants to see Luke alive. I mean, that would be truly shocking if they were to bring him back to life somehow and insert him in there. I think that would truly shock a lot of fans out there and would just make everybody really happy. Now, some of you guys are actually happy with Luke's death, and that's A-OK. -okay. But for me, I think it would be great and a whole lot better if he came back to life in some way, shape, or form, whatever they would have to do. Now, the fact that they are responding to the backlash by making this movie a very fan service esque film... I think is a good thing as long as it all serves a purpose. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Again, no.